Coming up next, the stars of How I Met Your Mother celebrate 200 legendary shows and preview one awesome finale. Over nine hilarious seasons, our first guests have taught us the bro code, slapped each other silly, and restored America's faith in the high five. Now, as they suit up for their 200th episode, which airs tonight at 8, right here on CBS, we are thrilled to welcome them all to our show. Here they are, the legend, wait for it, Derry, stars of How I Met Your Mother, Josh Radner, Alvin Hannigan, Congratulations, 200 episodes. Yay! We only have eight episodes left until it's over, so we're getting closer and closer to finding out Josh's character, Ted, um, the story behind how he met her, his wife, <laughs> yes. his, the mother of his kids. And Neil, I heard a rumor that you actually know how it all ends. Oh my God. Is this? I do. I actually didn't want to know. You know, they we were asked that a lot. Do you know who the mother is, and do you know how it ended? And I just thought because we do interviews like this all the time, I didn't want to have to accidentally give anything away or have a poker face. So I didn't want to know. And then at our Christmas party, uh, I had a couple of these. <laughs> found my bosses, Carter and Craig, who are the creators, and they'd had more than a couple of these. <laughs> and I took them uh, down a hallway and I said, okay, let's do it. I want to know everything. Spill the beans. And they did, and they told me how it all ends. And it, I'll say that it's more complicated than I had thought. Um, it, it's not just a simple, you know, one word ending. And uh, I think that our fans who have stuck with us will really appreciate all of the, the details within it. doesn't know is they actually just gave him the ending to loss. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. Still don't understand. No. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, but, it's complicated. <laughs> but, but Josh, and we're going to you, you have known what goes down in the last scene since back in season one. Kind of. Kind of. I think it was at another Christmas party. <laughs> where, uh, well, they told me, and I didn't know if they'd go through with it, actually, but then at the beginning of this season, I said, are they, you still doing the... And they said, yeah, so when I've been asked, you know, do you know how it ends, I've always, I had to, I've lied and said no, <laughs> but now I can stop lying. It's a great, great relief. Yeah. Now, Kobe, I know you can't give away the whole show, but can you... No, I can. <laughs> yeah. I know. Do it. Can you give us some hints about what we can expect over the next few episodes? Yeah, uh, well, I'm getting hitched to this handsome man. What? what? Yeah. 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 Luckiest yeah. character on TV. Luckiest character. <laughs> Gorgeous. Um, and uh, what I'm really excited about is um, an upcoming episode, our 200th, which is actually called How Your Mother Met Me. And we have Kristen, who's not with us today, but um, she uh, plays the mother on our show. And she's just fantastic. And it's an entire episode about how how there's all these run-ins between both Ted and her, and there's a lot of um, questions that are answered, and uh, so I'm really excited to see that air. We, yeah, yeah, that's tonight. Yeah, that's tonight. Jason, going back to the very beginning of yeah. the series, okay, what were your expectations of this show? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well... I, I tend to go into things with, with no expectations. My first show was a show called Freaks and Geeks when I was very young. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Which I love very much, but we got canceled before even a, a, a first season made it through. Uh -huh. We shot, we were so sure we were going to be canceled that we shot the finale like halfway through the first season. <laughs> <laughs> we went to craft service one day. And uh, craft service is where, like, food is to snack during the day. And it's, like, this lavish spread of, like, deli meats and cheeses. And, uh, and then one day we went, and it was just, like, a, a, a box of corn pops. And <laughs> non-dairy creamer. They knew before you did. Oh, yeah. 
so <laughs> they pulled everything. Yeah, yeah, we knew. And so uh, at that point, I, I realized you can't really equate um, like quality with something necessarily staying on the air. So I knew that we were part of a really special show. Um, so I just enjoyed it for, for what it was. And then nine years later, it's a, this is the longest I've known any group of people besides my family. I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's really true, you know. He High does school. start every morning looking at craft service. I do, <laughs> just to make sure. Oh, yeah. There's Dan. Yeah. I can't.